<laughs> Alright, so the first speaker of today's assembly is my good friend Cam. I've known him for a couple years, and really all I can say is that he's a great guy. He's genuinely kind, funny, and oh my god, that luscious hair of his. <laughs> Please give a warm up to my friend Cam. I try my hardest to get to know as many people as I can. I love meeting people, hearing their stories, their interests, laughing, talking, and just being social. I realize now that although I've made a valiant effort, I have yet to meet everyone at St. Paul Academy. I came to the school in junior year transferring from the social abyss of a Catholic all-male military school. <laughs> For those of you who know me well, it's apparent why I didn't mesh in that environment. <laughs> For those who don't, let me use this speech in an approximate time of five minutes to introduce myself. Hi! I'm Cam! In the now 18 years of my existence, I've lived in three states, seven houses, and attended around ten different schools in my history of education. My full name is Cameron Joseph Murray, a shortened variation of the name Cameron. Looking back, I often wonder why I didn't refer to myself as CJ, or even go as far as Ron. <laughs> Regardless, I chose camp and began presenting myself as such to others. Now, at a younger age, my first grade year conflicted with the release of the DreamWorks motion picture Shrek. This endearing tale about a large green ogre who finds a circle of fairy tale friends that help him ultimately become a hero. Uh, Princess Fiona, a fellow ogre and the love interest of our green hero, was voice acted by Cameron Diaz. The movie was all the rage of my first grade class. Its discussions would erupt on a daily basis with the fascination of the land of far, far away, and usually would end up quoting Donkey, voice acted by Eddie Murphy. And somehow on that fateful day, the conversation came up about how Cam and Cameron Diaz had the same name. <laughs> the following thought process of my first grade classmates was as such. Oh wow! Oh, they have the same first name? Let's call him Cameron Diaz. <laughs> The situation was laughable, and I had assumed it would wear off in a matter of days, but this name followed me for three years into the fourth grade, where it finally seemed to dissipate. Now, nothing too interesting happened for a long while, and my life continued on as the average North Carolina kid. I played baseball, soccer, tennis, swam, everything you needed to succeed in the land of minimal culture, good food, incredible scenery, and a thriving business class. <laughs> well, eventually, my dad took a new job at the end of my fifth grade year that led to our family relocating. Now, curious as to where this new journey would take us, I asked my parents, Minnesota! Oh, honey, it'll be fine. You'll make plenty of new friends. I didn't care. I wasn't concerned about <laughs> page turning. I wasn't concerned about that. I wasn't concerned about moving. Of course, I would miss my childhood friends, but I was also curious to explore a new land. Now note, the weather of North Carolina is oddly mild. The state resides in the middle of the East Coast and sees very little dramatic weather. The temperature ranges from 70 to 90 in the summer, with violent thunderstorms and heavy rain being the worst weather of the season. Now, there really isn't a winter. The temperature range drops between 30 and 50, and leaves change, but I'm convinced that the only reason they fall off is because of the rain that persists through this eternal fall. Once we pierced through the clouds of a proper cruising altitude, our flight to Minnesota revealed to us a new land. A land covered in frozen death. <laughs> Not a soul in sight. Very few cars out on the ice rink highways, and tater tot casserole everywhere. We were created in Apple Valley at our new home by a brisk 15 degrees Fahrenheit. This land would take some getting used to. Now we move into the next chapter of camp. Middle school. Saying the name said shivers down my spine. The summer before sixth grade, I wanted to get myself ready for what I thought was going to be the face of school that revealed a new and improved Cam, rather than his goofy child self. I wanted friends, fame, to be one of the cool kids. I knew exactly what I had to do. High School Musical had just come out. This provided the perfect insight. Now, Zac Efron had highlights. Zac Efron gets girls. Zac Efron is famous. Boom! I knew it had to be done. 
I strutted the halls of Minnehaha Academy at the beginning of my sixth grade year, a pudgy, brace-faced, highlight-sporting playboy. <laughs> the world was my oyster. However... <laughs> Sorry. However, this new outward appearance did not settle with girls or anyone, for that matter. <laughs> After this miserable middle school experience of academics and very little of a social existence, it was decided that a school change was for the better. <coughs> the summer before my 8th grade year, it was finalized. I would be attending St. Thomas Academy, the Catholic private all-male military school. <laughs> school codes required that I reset my appearance. I cut my hair, lost weight over the summer, and got my braces off. But it seemed like everything was going perfectly. My AAA baseball team had just won state, and we were going to Cooperstown for the Dream Team National Tournament in New York. I was respected by my teammates, classmates, and teachers. Life was good. Ultimately, an injury ended my baseball career, and I found myself wallowing in self-pity and boredom. Whilst one, whilst one day, whilst, uh, whilst one day, the summer before my first year of high school, I was enjoying a lovely session of Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. I had picked up on the game quite quickly and would often walk around the house with my wireless guitar whilst memorizing the notes on the songs on experts. This led me to paying attention to what was happening on the screen just besides the notes, and specifically the drummer. I thought, okay, that guy's cool. And of course, I had to be like this guy. I got my first drum kit that Christmas, and I was god-awful. But regardless, I was obsessed. I spent hours a day practicing, learning every nook and cranny of drumming and its infinite knowledge of rhythm, whilst driving my family to the brink of insanity. Now, as time passed, I found myself taking a newfound fondness in metal. You know, the, uh, screamy stuff about death and sadness. <laughs> I joined a couple of bands, uh, most of which were terrible, but we believed we were cute as pumpkin pie. <laughs> we played shows, practiced, and had a great time. However, at the Catholic all-mill military school, this did not settle too well. I even started partaking in theater and got a new kind of recognition, too, and uh, lots of it. Along with a few less-than-friendly nicknames, which we won't go into. <laughs> this persisted for more than two years, until it was too much. Yet another school change was in order, and after searching and searching, I found St. Paul Academy. It would have to do. <laughs> I ended up really liking the school, and I was now part of a professional band. I was in a great theater environment, found great friends, and a great social circle. And here we are! Now you know how I got here. <laughs> a theater-loving music and performance kid with a knack for the weird. That's right, I'm a goddamn weirdo. <laughs> But you know what, that's fine. I've accepted it, because every time I try and conceal my oddness for the sake of being cool, I just end up sad. So yes, that's why you'll hear me running down the hall screaming, SAFE! MY LOVE FOR YOU BURNS LIKE THE PASSION OF MY FIERY HEART! Or perhaps, IN THE MOUNTAINS. <laughs> As you may have noticed throughout this speech, I love doing voice impressions. I prepared a small list, because I feel like many of you may not be familiar with this. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you all for taking the time and coming in our watching camp speech, but it really means a lot. I mean, thank you very much, and just remember, it's not that easy being green. <laughs> the Swedish Chef. Ernie Furnish, Ernie Furry. Ernie Furnish, Ernie Furry. Ernie Furnish, Ernie Furry. Ernie Furry. Stitch, from Lilo and Stitch. Or Hannah wants family. <laughs> family wants nobody that's left behind. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Die, I, 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 I. Oh, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick Stark. The inner machinations of my mind are in enigma. <laughs> Finland! <laughs> Peter Griffin. Now, I'm not 100% sure why I'm here or what I'm doing here, but uh, I got my wife Lois at home. I got three kids, uh, Stewie, Chris, and, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, whatever, she's fine. <laughs> and, of course, the notorious Elmo. I'm running. 
I'm running out of things to tell you, so it seems our first date is coming to a close. <laughs> to my parents, I love you. To my brother, <laughs> to my sister, <laughs> no, but I love you both. And so the class of 2013, the world turns and we turn with it. Everywhere I go, there you are, my luck, my fate, my fortune. 2013, inevitable. Thank you.